we're actually uh, oh looks like we're live we're, we're streaming live right at this very moment on our Facebook page if you want to go check that out a little bit difficult if you're in the car mm -hmm. but if you're at home give it a shot let's see how well this works it's Glenn and Sadie along with uh, magician Gary Savard how you doing Gary Good, good morning. Welcome, glad you could drop by this morning. Well, thanks for having me. And you brought a special guest with you today, and we're just thrilled to have this uh, this awesome bird in the studio. Well, thanks. This, this is Coco. Yeah, this is Coco. She's a uh, blue and gold macaw. She's about six years old. Wow. Fully feathered, so she can fly. That's now, what the harness is for. I, I, I'm going to bring up something really depressing. I, I'm, you know, I, I, I'm guessing that your age, you're, you know, maybe... In your 40s. Oh, thank you, thank you. Late <laughs> 40. This bird is going to be around way past your. Way yeah. After you're gone. Yeah, I just turned uh, just turned 50 last month, so it, uh, yeah, she's. Uh, These things live forever. They do. She's six years old, and uh, she can get to 80 or 90, depending on uh, captivity. Well, the, the one thing that I've noticed since you brought Coco in here is this: this bird is extremely laid back, affectionate. I think uh, it could find a home wherever it goes. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. She's pretty calm. Yeah. So, how is Coco? How do you use Coco in your uh, in your magic show? Well, you gotta come and see. <laughs> yeah, just we'll be, like that. We'll be at Agri Fair. Actually, actually, not sorry, at Chilliwack Fair. That's Chilliwack Fair place. starting tomorrow. That's right, starting this Friday. Um, I got uh, nine shows there, yeah. and you come do a meet and greet if you like. That would be fantastic. Now, you know, like, can you do you pull, can you give us some sort of hint? As, uh, sure. Does she come out of a hat or anything? Uh, does a hat don't, come out of her? Because you see, guys, they have doves. They'll come out of yeah wherever wherever. That's right. Yes, I'll be doing my dove show there, and uh, also uh, she'll be appearing at the end. Wow. It's the finale. Now you said you said she talks for peanuts. What kind she of talks stuff for does peanuts. she say? Uh, well, let, let's see. Let's see. If she, it's it's early. Let's see if she's saying anything. <laughs> oh, she snucks them. <laughs> Hello. Oh, look at that. Are you sure that wasn't you? Uh, no, it was her. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, yeah, on. it's it's early in the morning. Right, try this one. Peanuts. Come on, go, go. Uh, look. <laughs> She's got her morning voice yeah, going on. Is, uh, yeah, she's still sleeping. That's she's right. still sleeping. That's right. You know, that's the whole thing about it. You know, once I get in the car, though, she'll be talking like, a, yeah, like be crazy. Card tricks and uh, pets in the studio. It's tough on radio. They just, <laughs> yeah. We have to sit and describe what's happening. But, uh, you bet. But we've got it uh, streaming right now on Facebook. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself, Gary. How did you get into the whole magic thing? Well, I've been doing magic for about 30 years. Um, I do. I started off doing uh, children's shows and uh, then got uh, a little bit out there and uh, was with the Vancouver Magic Circle. Uh, we got the Fraser Valley Magic Circle, which yeah. is Fraser Valley here. And uh, I do children's shows, I do corporate shows, I do com company functions, uh, fairs, a lot of Christmas parties, yeah. a lot of family parties. So were you one of those guys that, you know, when you were in your young 13, 12, were you starting to do magic tricks at a young age? No, I was until the ripe old age of 20. Really? Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Cause often it's I was a late you know, bloomer. Yeah, it's quite often you see here, it was, they start out kids doing tricks for their friends in the basement. Yes. So putting what, on yes. their own little shows and whatnot. For what, sure. What trick was it that got you to go, you know what, I want to try this? Uh, actually, you know what? Uh, just making people laugh and have fun is is fun for me. If you, if we didn't need money, I'd do it for free. <laughs> because uh, don't say that too much. <laughs> yeah, there's eating there's, there's, is good. Yeah, yeah, eating is good. Yeah. There's so much you know garbage going on in this world that it's yeah. nice to just make people laugh and have fun. Yeah, absolutely. Now, but, did you, you as far as the training goes? Do they have a magician university or? How does it all come together for you? you oh, we have we have conventions that we have. We yeah. have uh, lectures that come through. Like in the, in the Fraser Valley Magic Circle, we have uh, lectures that come through that we go see. Usually about once a month there'll be a lecture come through. Uh, we go to different conventions. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's lots of uh, lots of people to back, it, back you up if yeah. you need some help. So how do you, as a magician, what do you think of these, these TV shows that pop up every once in a while where these people are trying to uh, destroy the illusion and show you how the tricks are done? Like Penn and Teller. Like, what is that, what is that? How does that make you feel when you see stuff like that? Oh, there, there's there's always one. Uh, there's more than one way to skin a cat, I guess. Absolutely. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. There's no <laughs> there's actual cat in the studio. Correct. Correct. Okay, well, you shouldn't say the word cat around Coco. Though. Yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, there's been a lot of magic on TV the last little while, especially yeah. with uh, America's Got Talent. Yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. i got a few, few, few friends that have been on that, and a few friends have been on uh, uh, Penn and Teller. Have you thought about doing either of those? Uh... Yeah, yeah, if I can get some uh, time off my day job at the post office. <laughs> yeah. 
Well, your shows, you're, you're going to be at uh, Chilliwack Fair for the next three days. Maybe what yep. time will your shows be? Uh, uh, sure. I get uh, uh, Friday at 1, 4, and 5.30. Uh, Saturday and Sunday, I'm at 10, 1, and 4. Yeah, all at the Energy Zone. Okay. Awesome. Excellent. So be on stage. Absolutely. That's, that's, that is, a, these are free shows with your price of admission. You betcha. All right.